I'm Chelsea Speaker from Honda's Black Global Edition. Is it true what they say that most men have no sense of fashion and hate going shopping? Two women, entrepreneurs in Berlin, saw a gap in the market. The fashion e-commerce company Outfittery was founded in Berlin in 2012. In Germany, this sector is growing rapidly, generating sales of 18.9 billion euros in 2014. Men's fashion sales in Germany totaled more than 16 billion euros that same year, and the share of online shopping is growing. Outfittery offers curated shopping for men, providing each customer with a personal stylist. Men send in their preferences, budget and sizes, and get hand-picked outfits sent right to their doorstep. Nice! What do you think? Well. Mini have like also to optimize it a little bit. I think it's a good color for you. Yeah. Too. If you take the average European guy, he goes shopping twice a year. The average European woman, woman goes shopping 10 times a year. So guys really go in and shop in bulk, so they're looking for a solution. More than 150 stylists work at Outfittery. The brands they sell are middle to upscale like Tommy Hilfiger and G-Star. Men shop totally differently from women. If they find a brand they like, they'll stick to it. So they're very loyal. Especially in fashion e-commerce, your biggest enemy is kind of the customer acquisition cost. And usually you will lose money with every first purchase and also the second purchase. So you need to develop clever tricks how to get repeat customers. If this works out and you keep the customer for years, it's a great business model. On average, a box with two entire outfits has a value of 800 to 1,000 euros. The average customer keeps goods worth 250 euros per order. Here we have, uh, for example, a typical casual business look. This is the typical chino, which is a good alternative mm -hmm. to a jeans. Germany somehow became a market, even a market leader in the easy way of uh, e-commerce penetration. There's a very good system that doesn't exist in other countries. There is a legal duty of those who sell your product to take it back and pay you back if you're not happy for whatever reason. This is a huge advantage. Typically, you would keep one out of two outfits. So returns are always part of our business. As an e-commerce company, Outfittery saves expenses for shop rents, but it also operates in a highly competitive field. In the e-commerce market, most of the customers are overwhelmed by choice. So the curated shopping uh, might be a trend uh, for the future and of course a market for a lot of uh, startups and each company has to decide if they want uh, to, to automate this process by software or if they want to have real um, styling assistance. On the one hand side, it's a good sign if your business um, gets competitors. Yeah? If you're the only one, you, you have kind of asked the question, why are you the only one? But of course, on the other hand, if you have like 10 competitors doing exactly the same, you will, at the end of the day, just compete for price. And this, of course, is always a bad thing for your business model. So speaking of Outfittery in particular, I think they made pretty well. They are in a good position currently, but with a growing competition, the next two, three years will be crucial, of course, for their success, how they kind of differentiate themselves amongst the competition, and also if they can keep their existing customer base. Berlin is the center of Germany's startup scene. Each year, up to 750 new companies are founded in the German capital. Outfittery offers its service in eight European countries, but the founders chose Berlin as the company headquarters. Everybody here is in startups because Berlin actually doesn't have any industry, so the only choice you have is to be in startups. And also in terms of the team, we have a very international team here. We have uh, 250 people from, I think, 20 different countries. So it's uh, cool that so many international talents are coming to Berlin. So I think it's, it's the pretty perfect ground uh, to start your own company. Zira is a research and rating service for investors based in Tel Aviv. It provides tools that help investors assess the quality and potential of funding private companies. We asked them to give us their analysis of Outfittery. The Zira rating system has given Outfittery a score of 7.9 out of 10, which is above average for a company that stage. And their performance indicates that their solution is already successful. On the red flags, well, I guess there are two main ones. One is that the company is still relatively local. And for an, such an operation to justify such a heavy investment, it needs to go global. And that has not been done to a great extent yet. And second, that the company does not really have any technology or any other quote-unquote technical barrier. 
so newcomers or other brands can actually step into the market and actually compete. Uh, it's an online play and online plays are susceptible for additional competition.